think about coming for double unders. So as soon as I come for double unders, you can use your head into their chin, you can use your head on their side, whatever you need to do. Of course, don't put your head into their armpit. But when I pull Brandon forward, okay, I want to stand Brandon up. So as soon as I do, okay, I want to stand Brandon up as, as high as I can. Okay, as soon as I pick the side, whatever side I want, this hook stays and this hook feeds. Does that make sense? So we need to lift our opponent up. They'll either stand themselves or we're going to feed the leg for us. Okay, so like right now I'm going to modify single X with the hook on the other side. Okay, of course we can't cross the center line, so this is going to go on the hip. The knee's going to come in and then we're going to pinch so that we get the ankle, okay? Of course, we can't heel hook in the gi. So I want to just start doing this as a habit. So come down to your knees, and we're going to set up a, dip, a couple different things here with the butterfly guard. So we're going to come under, okay? As soon as we do, we're going to pull, lift, okay? Pick your side, and then pull right to the single legs, okay? So. Then from the single X, the short hook. Single X, short hook. All right. Utilize the gi. Foot turns. Make sense? Single X, short hook. What are you trying to accomplish with both of those? So I want to start thinking. What I want to do is first set up our entries. Right? So like. We're gonna set up our entries where we're here, okay? And as soon as we have this, this is gonna grab the shoulder, and then this is gonna slide into the neck, right here, okay? Then I'm gonna gable grip, and then I'm gonna pull the shoulder. Okay, so now we have him loaded up so that we can move him. All right, the biggest thing is, you need your knees to stay with your hips, okay? As soon as my knees go past my hip line, I'm gonna lose all my strength to lift my opponent. Okay? It's not going to matter their weight so much. Why? Because I'm getting him to base all his weight forward and his hips aren't weighing anything. So that's kind of the mechanics that I want to think about doing when we pull the butterfly guard is that we're pulling and keeping our knees as close to us as possible so we're lifting like this. Okay? I see a lot of people try to lift like this and they don't have the strength. So you're pulling them on top of you then lifting. Right, I want you to essentially base forward or at least get all your weight forward so that I can move your legs easier. Okay, so the two entries that I want to think about is I want to do the double unders to start with, okay, to keep your opponent glued to you. And then we're going to do the leg one first, so I'm going to pull him forward and lift. Okay, see how I can control him right here? Pick the side, pull. Okay, so now I have my butterfly hook still on this side, the knee to the heel. And now this is all pinched in here where I can come under and I can pull this up on my shoulder if I want to do the stand up, right? I can push the foot back if I want to look for toe holds, okay? Or I can wrap the foot up if I want to start going for ankle locks. So that's the entry that we first are going to start with. The second entry, all right, is we're going to still go with double unders, right? And then I'm going to reach up on the shoulder and then this one's going to come across the neck and I'm going to clamp his shoulder to my chest here, okay? So now I want to be under his neck here so I can lift. All right? So I just want to work on those two. Now lift your opponent up and, and make him stand up and get under the legs. So now I want to do butterfly guard for standing, okay? The important factor is that you have to have good hooks. Okay, and you have to be like comfortable here when you're playing butterfly guard. All right, so this can't be weak. He can't just kick this leg off. Okay, it has to stay connected to him no matter what. And if he kicks this leg off, it needs to slide to you. Okay, so he kicks it up. Look, does that make sense? He exposes his back. Okay, so if he kicks this leg up, right, you have to think about you're trying to bring the leg to you constantly. So you're always offsetting his base. Just like we went with last week. Um, people throw Delaheva in, right? But they don't use Delaheva as an offense. They just throw it in and they sit there with the hook. Okay? So when we did Delaheva last week, people throw the Delaheva in and they sit here and they're relaxing and then the guy shuts the hook down. 
People don't put the deli heva in and then turn the foot and they don't start turning the knee and putting pressure out on it so that he's off space here. And that way I can start chasing his back or he has to figure out how to square up before I start sending him back, right? So anytime you're doing these guards, they need to be active, you know? Like you're here moving, right? Like my butterfly guard's not just hooking, it's also pulling, right? Like it's pulling and it's pushing and it's creating opportunities. Okay, so when I'm ready, I'm going to reach over and I'm going to grab the ankle of whatever side I want, and then I'm going to push. Don't push the leg through. Push the knee out, okay, so that he has no way of establishing a base. Then feed it through. Does that make sense? Okay, you can't, if you're shooting things without pressure, you're never going to get them. If I'm just here and I shoot this through, Brandon's going to be able to do passing and different stuff. But if I go here and I push his legs out, and then as I shoot this through, it's opening his legs right here, then it's so much easier to get my short hook set up, right? Or my single X or my double X, okay? So you should be shooting anything that you're doing with pressure, all right? So I want you guys to work on sitting up, and I want you to work on pushing and pulling, all right? Having good pressure here. Have them try to kick their feet off a little bit, all right, without pushing down on your ankles. You can put the hands on the knees, but the drill is for you guys to make sure you're keeping good pressure and they can't just kick the foot off, okay? Good hook, sticky. Then we pick this up, okay? So we're gonna shoot the hook through, right? Short hook. Then we're gonna go for the single X. Make sure that you're connecting your butt up, it's not sitting, I don't want to be here. I want to be up, lifting his leg, see? Here, that's, if his foot's on the ground, that's wrong. His foot should be up. See the difference? That way he can't base on this foot. That way when I come down, there's no base. Okay? So, up, I'm putting his foot up in the air, okay? So now when I come back down, I'm going to my double X, okay? As soon as I come to my double X, use the gi, right? You're either grabbing this, you don't have this hand doing nothing. If I try to go under like this, there's no control, right? But if I go here and I control this, then I can put it right where I want, okay? Now, here, foot on the knee, up, all right? Drop them down, okay, pass. Does that make sense? Okay. Do you see it again or you got it? You got it? Do you, are you even watching anymore? Do you know where you're at? She's got it. She's, I'm just trying not to shake. <laughs> I'm just trying not to shake. I'm just staying really steady. All right, so we're here, okay? Play this first. Try to just have them get the hooks off and have pressure and stay tight, right? Then. Grab, feed, pressure, outwards, hook, all right? Shoot, single legs, get his foot off the mat. Come back down, hook, double X, switch the grip, under, grab. See how he's constantly off base? That's what you want to be working on, okay? Push, up, okay? <laughs> Practice that court you stretch that far. You're gonna have to go up here, Jilly. <laughs> Alright, get a partner. Alright. Take your time. Sanding or <laughs> nonchalantly show up over here. Glad to have a training partner. <laughs> Welcome to the training. I'm Put this in the right podcast. Alright. So, strip, pull. Okay? So this needs to be going out the whole time, all right? So now this is gonna drop down. When I drop it down, okay, I want my knee to hit his knee out, okay? So, yeah, you wish, all right? Now, I'm putting pressure here, I'm putting pressure here. When I want this to go down, it's gonna drop to here, okay? So when I'm here, Playing this, I want to come behind and then come up into the leg drain. All right. So 
put the leg behind and reach for this as fast as you can. Once you get this, you're going to pull him to you. Shoot, shoot, drop. Up, oh, right here's the leg. Okay, so if I fall like that, is it in my best interest to keep this over here and then start fighting to it up? Good. So, now we problem solve. That's the nice thing about drilling. Kick through, hit, right? Drop down. He keeps this blocked, right? This stays up. Pull. Like that. Hook, drop. All right, when we go here, I want to keep good hip pressure across. This is how I also pass fighter guard too when I drop my opponent. I come up here, up, right? Knee in. Now, if he's blocking me, okay, under. Seat belt control. I run into Corey's, well, Corey's knee and I have a bad relationship. It's like this long. So, all right, so just think about that sweep, okay? Now, feed through, okay? We're gonna hook the ankle lock leg right here, okay? What I wanna make sure that we do, come under, feed the same side, not the cross side anymore, okay? So, now we're gonna look at this and this sweep, which is the double leg sweep, okay? Or up and then again, out, okay? Here. What was that? The uh, straight block. So I just want to make sure that when I get it, I feed this, elbow down, shoot through, okay? All right, hook. Now, we're going to shoot right here. The toes already start coming up. All right? He's got such a tight grip on my foot right now, I can almost have this here. Okay? If you want to get a nice finish over the top. All right? Great Tristan's foot. <laughs> <laughs>